Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I wanted to do just a fast video. Uh, we'll get into more details on on uh, on this uh, going forward, but I wanted to show you uh, the new, this is the new uh, 44 um, 25A advanced kit. <clears throat> so this is the front of it. It has uh, LED lights in the front. Uh, you can still attach BNC, the normal BNC connectors. Uh, each one of these lights up, blue, red, green, yellow. Uh, but it has these printed circuit boards on there for the advanced mode so that the scope automatically recognizes which probe you have in there. Now, it still has the same back as the uh, previous 4425. So you have the USB 3.0, uses 2.0, uh, the 5 volt DC, and there's a ground um, for a future. Uh, applications. I mean, uh, the 5 volt is for future, uh, and then the ground was always there. Uh, sorry about that. So we're going to take a look at this, and, um, you know, we're going to take a look at some of the things that it comes with. So it comes with a 60-amp clamp. You can buy the kit, or you can buy all the stuff separately. Uh, it's totally up to you. Uh, but if you notice, there's no switch on the front here. So it'll automatically recognize that it's either on 20 uh, or 60 uh, amps. So it's pretty cool. No nine volt batteries. Um, you don't have to worry about killing the batteries or whatnot, et cetera. Uh, and then the 2000 amp, which I love uh, because it's so skinny. So here's the, here's the old one. And you'll see how big it is with the switching. And then, <laughs> Here you go, that's the size next to it. Here's the new one. It's so small and skinny, it'll fit in just about anywhere. Again, there's no batteries, there's no um, switching to pick uh, which one it is, which setting you want it on. It does it automatically. So, and then it opens up 50-50, uh, uh, just like the old one. So you can get it around whatever you need. Uh, it's big enough for pretty much any battery cable or whatnot. So, and obviously these have the BNC Plus on them, right? So uh, those are the two amp clamps. Um, and then same thing for the secondary paddle, you know, it, it has the same BNC Plus. So it's cheaper if you purchase everything separately. So uh, what I did was I put everything in my cart and it came out to uh, the standard price, but what I did was I got everything I wanted and I'll explain that in a second. So these are five meter leads, uh, rather than the three meter leads that the standard ones come with again, the BNC plus, they all BNC plus, right? So you have all your colors. So you got green. And one thing I noticed, uh, versus the old, the old leads, so here's an old lead. So the color is a little bit different, um, you know, and the silicone wire is a lot different, you know. These are more tough where you can see and you can just feel a difference. These are like spaghetti. So they're really, really soft. I mean, look at even me just turning it, just, you know, just flopping everywhere. Uh, so it's pretty cool uh, rather than these are more, a little more uh, rigid. You know, and you can still use these, so you can still put these on the scope, and I'll show you that uh, momentarily. So, and I'll show you how to connect those, but I wanted to show you also, um, well, I'll connect them to the scope first so you can see. So, and, and in the future videos, we'll, we'll get into more of uh, using it and the setup on the Pico. So, all you do is uh, you just plug these in. That's it. So, it's in, it's in there. So there's no more wearing out your BNC than to unrelease it. There's clips right here. And what you do is you just squeeze both sides and you just pull it out. See, so you push it in. You can hear it clip in. And then you unplug it and that's it. So again, this is what I meant by the lead. So let me undo this so you can actually see. So that's the actual lead, how I can hold it up. 
and these just flop over so yeah, it's you can't even you know and then these are a little bit better made they have some strain release on them and uh whatnot so again uh those uh the five meter so what i did was i ordered the five meter leads uh versus the three meter leads and then what i did was i added all my stuff to it so um you have the TA395, which is the linear temperature probe. You have the secondary clamp. I ordered the ultrasonic parking sensor, which is the regular, it's not the plus. Um, this is for uh, backup sensors. And this is uh, the resistance lead. So this has the two, the red and black leads. Uh, and this is BNC plus. And uh, this is the attenuator that you can use. So it knows that you have an attenuator on it. And then uh, there's a couple of pieces in here you hook up to it. And this is how uh, you use it. Uh, and the reason they did this is for FlexRay. So you can use these, it's safe for FlexRay uh, CAN bus systems. All right. So, and I believe, so I ordered the two clamps, uh, all this stuff, a couple extra uh, BNC to BNC for the pulse sensors. Um, like I said, the second, the secondary probe, which I'll show you, which is again, it's, it's, it's a BNC plus. So I ordered pretty much everything that came in the standard kit. I mean, it actually in the advanced kit besides the, um, the little odds and ends, uh, you know, I didn't really need those because I had those with the other scopes, uh, you know, and I have the, the all tell. Uh, etc. So that's the whole reason why I did it. And then as far as the secondaries, I didn't go crazy because I have uh, the colored secondaries from Auto Nerds anyway. So, but I just wanted to kind of show you what you can get. So if you put the stuff in your cart and you look and see what the Pico actually has, take a look at it separately, put in the cart what you want. And you'll actually see the price difference and you'll you'll be surprised so uh don't just jump at the price that's on there granted you do get a case for it but most most of us guys don't use a case not everybody but you know most of us don't so again i just wanted to kind of show you what 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 this is i'll do a quick video like i said we're already at seven minutes here seven eight minutes so the next video I do, will show this in, in practical use. Don't you love these? You gotta love these, look at this. They're so flexible, you can literally get them anywhere. So, and they're, more, and they're thicker too. The diameter is thicker. So I, I believe they're, I don't know if there's more shielding in there or whatnot, but uh, amazing. They're really cool. So I don't think I missed anything. I got to the amp clamps again. Uh, what did I, yeah, I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I showed you everything. So, uh, but yeah, take a look online, do what I said, and put it, add it to your cart. Uh, AES Wave obviously is, is the way to go. So I'm going to, uh, show you again, practical use in real field applications. That way you can see it and how it sets up. I also have a, uh, circuit board from Snap-on, which I can actually introduce glitches, and I might do that as well, but to keep this video short, I just wanted to kind of show you, you know, the basics on it, and uh, when you plug stuff into this, you know, any probe that you have, the scope will automatically set it up. Other than that, there's no difference from the 40, 4425 to the advanced. It's still uh, 200 volts for max, and uh, it's still the same spec scope, so... But, you know, obviously for the new user, having the advanced mode is a lot better uh, because they don't have to fuss with anything. And also secondary, you know, playing with the KV to, uh, to MV, you don't have to worry about that because when you hook your secondaries up, it automatically sets it up for you. So it's a win-win. I think it's, it's faster. Uh, it's not always just for the new user, but it's definitely faster for anybody that's even an advanced user of an oscilloscope. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and sticking with me. I know it's a 10-minute video, uh, but I wanted to show you and let you know that you can put your package together. You don't have to buy 
uh, the one that's already packaged for you. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.